In this video, we're going to be looking at different parenting styles and their effects on children. When you first have a baby, you're really in survival mode. You're putting out fires all the time and you're focused on diapers, sleeping, napping, and all of these new experiences that come with having a baby. As your child grows and your child starts to understand things more, you interact with the child more, you begin to start thinking about parenting. You look to the future a lot more and what the child is going to be like and how your actions are going to affect your child. As a result, you start thinking about the parenting style that you want to have. I'm going to cover four major parenting styles. We'll discuss what each one of them is about and what are the effects on children. In the end, do children seem to thrive more with one parenting style versus another? This may help you decide which parenting style works best for you. I know which one works best for me. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman, creator of the Dad University Parenting Program. I work with dads and help them gain more confidence in their parenting, learn effective discipline strategies, and strengthen the connections with their families. The origins of parenting styles go back to the 1960s with a clinical and behavioral psychologist named Diana Baumrein. She is credited with defining three different parenting styles and their effects on children. The three different Baumrein parenting styles are also known as pillar theory. Now, here's the styles. We're going to go over them in much more detail. First, authoritarian parenting style. Second, permissive parenting style. And then third, authoritative parenting style. In the 1980s, Stanford researchers Eleanor McAbee and John Martin created a fourth parenting style. This was the uninvolved or neglectful parenting style. We'll review these a little more and you can see which style is best for you. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer here. When I say that you know children will end up this way or most likely be this way, nothing is absolute and nothing is guaranteed. There's just been a tremendous amount of research over time that shows that this is a likelihood or more likelihood that something is going to happen. Also, other factors like the child's temperament or the culture you live in or you know the social influences, those can all have an effect on what the child ends up like. So before you comment that you were raised this way and you are not that way as a result of the way that you were parented, I understand. This is not an absolute guarantee. This is just based on the likelihood of what researchers have found over the years. Okay, the first parenting style, number one, authoritarian. Authoritarian parents are strict and have high expectations, especially when it comes to obedience. Now, they have a lot of ex expectations as it relates to the rules and children not breaking those rules, yet there's not much discussion or explanation about the rules. Children are just supposed to know the rules. You may hear an authoritarian parent say something like, uh, because I said so, or because I'm the parent. The style is controlling and offers little choice or options for the child. This is the way it is. As you can imagine, there isn't a lot of warmth or nurturing with authoritarian parents. You know, the children of the authoritarian parents often associate uh, obedience with love. The positives of this style is that you would have a child who is obedient and follows instructions. However, it is said that children of authoritarian parents are less happy, their social competence is lower, and they typically report lower self-esteem. So the children don't feel very good about themselves. A lot of dads use the authoritarian style because of either their need to control or it was the way that they were raised and they feel that it works. They may feel that being strict and disciplined will result in a child that behaves better. Now, while that part might be true, you'll have a better behaved child. You may want to consider some of the other parts of the authoritarian style that could have a negative impact on the child. Can you be strict? but approach it in a more positive way so that it, it has a better impact on the child. Well, we'll find out a little bit more towards the end of this video. For now, let's continue with number two, the uninvolved or neglectful parenting style. 
Now, you're watching this video, so I'm gonna make the assumption that this is not your preferred style. There is no argument that the uninvolved and neglectful parenting style is the most damaging to kids. It basically says that, you know, the parent would provide maybe food, shelter, and clothing, but that's about it. The parent doesn't provide any of the physical or emotional or psychological needs of the child. An uninvolved parent doesn't provide any affection, doesn't set rules or boundaries, and certainly doesn't get involved in any of the child's activities. They're basically leaving the child to fend for themselves. Children of uninvolved or neglectful parents have a hard time forming relationships. They lack trust in others and usually have a difficult time dealing with other children. There really isn't anything positive to say about uninvolved or neglectful parents. Number three, permissive parenting style. This is also known as indulgent parenting. It lacks structure, limits, and boundaries. The parent doesn't attempt to regulate the child's behavior. So as a result, the child doesn't really know what is acceptable behavior. Permissive parents often want to be the child's friend instead of the parent. They're very lenient, so they don't really monitor or guide the children's behavior. Permissive parents will often use bribes or gifts as rewards for behavior. On a good note, permissive parents are very loving and fun, and the environments are usually warm and friendly. But over time, not having those limits and boundaries can have its consequences. Children of the permissive parenting style often have difficulty with self-regulation, and they report low levels of happiness. They have problems with authority, and they often perform poorly in school. The lack of self-regulation and poor impulse control often means that these children are overweight or more susceptible to drug and alcohol abuse. Remember earlier I mentioned being strict, but possibly doing it in a more positive way? Well, if that's of interest to you, then you'll like number four, authoritative parenting style. While this style offers a warm and responsive environment, sort of like permissive parenting, that's where the similarities end. The authoritative parenting style has high standards, sets limits, and has boundaries. So you get the boundaries and the setting of limits and that modification of behavior that you might desire, but you do it with cooperation and communication. If you've ever heard of positive parenting, this falls under the authoritative parenting style. It's about guiding children with reason and respect. An authoritative parent will listen to their child, and they'll take their feelings and emotions into consideration. Children of authoritative parents are shown to be happier, more capable, and often do better in school. They are also often more independent, socially accepted, and have less anxiety and depression, as well as less drug use. Of course, there are different nuances and levels of each one of these styles, but we categorize them so that we can help define what they're about. The teachings of Dad University fall under the authoritative parenting style. While you can learn a lot from all of our videos, this is exactly why I've created the Dad University Parenting Program. It's gonna help you gain confidence in your parenting and learn all of these different strategies to be effective when it comes to discipline and having your kids listen and many of the challenges that we face as parents. You want to give your child the best opportunity to be happy, self-reliant, confident, and have good behavior. In order to do that, it takes understanding the skills and techniques in parenting that way. This is not something that we are born knowing. We have to learn it. And that's exactly what we focus on here. If you are a dad and you're interested in learning more about our parenting program, I'll put a link in the description below. You can make a free appointment to talk with us. Don't leave it up to chance. Take action now and be the amazing parent that you were destined to be. I would also love to hear from you. Did you decide what parenting style works best for you? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. If you know any people that might enjoy this video, please share it with them. We'll see you next time.